In last class we have seen one sample t-test. Now we will see two sample t-test. Two sample t-tests are used to compare parameters of two different populations to check if is there any difference in population parameters such as mean based on given sample data. The purpose is to determine whether the difference between these two populations is statistically significant or not. See here, these two are sampling distributions with different means. First sample mean is x1 bar 100. This sample distribution mean is x2 bar 102. We need to check their respective population means. It come from some population. Its mean is mu1 and this came from another population. Its mean is mu2. Whether this mu1 and mu2 are equal or not we need to check sometimes these two samples might come from two populations with different mean value means uh, this mean value is different from this mean value mu2 sometimes these samples might come from two populations they have equal population means mu1 equal to mu2 suppose these two samples come from population they have equal means but sample means are different 100 and 102 this difference might be because of sampling bias or in another case this mu1 and mu2 may not be equal because of that reason these two sample means is different we need to check whether the difference is statistically significant or not by using two sample tests these two samples sample 1 and sample 2 might be dependent or independent independent or unpaired samples suppose for evaluating the effect of medical treatment 50 patients are assigned to treatment group 50 patients are assigned to control group here treatment group will be given medication control group receives either no treatment or standard treatment these type of samples control group and treatment group are called independent samples they are obtained from two populations being compared dependent samples are paired samples here same sample tested twice before the treatment and after the treatment like blood pressure of 50 patients before treatment and blood pressure of 50 patients after treatment this type of samples are called dependent samples we have different types of tests based on sample let us see first independent two sample t-test if two samples are independent and standard deviations unknown then only we can use this independent two sample t-test there are two types of independent two sample t-test First one is two sample t-test with equal variance, two sample t-test with unequal variance. Two sample t-test with equal variance will be used when two population distributions have same variance. Two sample t-test with unequal variance will be used when two populations have different variations, means they are not same. This test is also known as Wells t-test. Let us see two sample t-test with equal variance. Equivariance two sample t-test assumptions are population variances sigma 1, sigma 2 are unknown. Population follow normal distribution or sample size n1 plus n2 greater than 40. Any one is sufficient. The two samples are independent and two population variances are assumed to be equal when sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square the sampling distribution of the differences in estimated means x1 bar minus x2 bar follows t distribution with n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom with mean mu1 minus mu2 and standard deviation under root sp square 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 here sp square is the pooled variance of two samples n1 n2 are sample sizes for sample 1 and sample 2 respectively we can calculate old variance based on this formula then t statistic is x1 bar minus x2 bar minus mu1 minus mu2 by under root sp square 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 
let's see one example here a1 and a2 are two samples of weights of screws that were chosen out of bucket that were chosen out of bucket test the hypothesis that means of the populations from which two samples were taken are equal formulate null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis null hypothesis h0 is mu1 equal to mu2 there is no difference between population means alternate hypothesis h1 is mu1 not equal to mu2 population means are different here you can even write null and alternate hypothesis in this way also let's assume alpha here is 0 0.05 here we don't have idea about the population standard deviations sigma 1 and sigma 2 two samples are independent here sample sizes are not large means first sample size 6 second sample size 6 total sum is 12 which is less than 40 all these tests z test t test and f test can be performed on normal distribution if sample size is large from central limit theorem we can confirm that sampling distribution follow normal distribution but here sample size is small if data not follows normality and not have equal variance then this test results will be wrong to test the normality we can use tests like sapiro test and ks test or you can use qq plots to assess the normality by using sample data and we can use partlet test to test equality of variance but here let us assume population is normally distributed and population variances are equal so we can perform two sample t test with equal variance in this case to calculate t statistic we need pool standard deviation sp this is the formula for pool standard deviation substitute the data then sp will be 0.08544 for critical value we need degrees of freedom it is n1 plus n2 minus 2 value is 10 t statistic is difference of sample means minus difference in population means divided by square root pooled variance multiplied with value 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 substitute the values the result will be approximately 1.938 here it is two tail test t critical value for two tail test with degrees of freedom 10 at alpha 0 0.05 this is the value 2.228 t statistic is 1.938 t critical values are minus 2.228 and 2.228 t statistic 1.938 is in 95% confidence interval range which is not in the rejection region result is not significant we cannot reject this null hypothesis let's check another way by using p value if we find the p value for t statistic 1.938 in t table 1.938 is close to this value 1.812 4 degrees of freedom 10 so approximately p value for 1.938 is 0.04 since it is two tail test you have to multiply this one tail p value 0.04 with 2 then you will get two tail p value 0.08 p value 0.08 greater than alpha 0 0.05 so results are not significant we cannot reject null hypothesis means population means are equal let's see another example here we have two samples us cars and japan cars fuel economy data first sample is about us cars fuel economy sample size is 249 and mean value is 20.14458 miles per gallon and the sample standard deviation is 6.41470 second sample is japan cars fuel economy data sample size is 79 mean is 30.48101 miles per gallon and sample standard deviation for second sample is 6.10771 test the hypothesis that us cars have significantly lower fuel economy than the japan cars at 95% confidence level 
Our hypothesis statement is US cars have lower fuel economy than Japan cars. Mu n is US sample mean value, mu 2 is Japan sample mean value. Alternate hypothesis H1 is mu 1 less than mu 2. We need to test this hypothesis statement. Then our hypothesis is H0 mu 1 greater than or equal to mu 2. We can write same thing in this way also. Let us assume alpha 0 0.05 means 95% confidence level. Here we don't know population standard deviation sigma 1 and sigma 2. Two samples are independent and sample size is 249 plus 79. Result is greater than 40. And let us assume population variances are equal. Then we can perform two sample t test with equal variance test. Let's calculate full standard deviation and degrees of freedom. If you substitute the values in this formula, then you will get full standard deviation 6.34260 and degrees of freedom formula is n1 plus n2 minus 2 and the value is 326. If we calculate t statistic value by using this formula, it will be approximately equal to minus 12.62059. It is one tail test. So we have to search in this row and degrees of freedom is 326 means it is greater than 120 so you have to search for this row and alpha value is 0 0.05 means 95% confidence level so this is the t critical value 1.645 t critical value minus 1.645 t statistic minus 12.62059 is in the rejection region result is significant so we can reject null hypothesis at 95% confidence level we can check by using p-values also if we find the p-value for minus 12.62059 it will be less than 0 0.00001 since p-value less than alpha 0 0.05 result is statistically significant so we can reject null hypothesis so alternate hypothesis is true means us cars have lower fuel economy than the japan cars